Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lane Place of Binding Wise Gantworth. We're gonna do this two wins in a row random. You know what? Give me the keeper. I'm ready for it. You think I'm a little baby back bitch? Absolutely no chance. Lilith again. I guess it's the second time in three runs, so it's not that ridiculous. PBZ4. You guys ever have a PB and Z sandwich? Peanut butter and zebra jerky? 8HB6. It's good. It's not bad. Maybe I shouldn't go so far as to say it's good, but uh, at least we get like a real Lilith run after we had kind of a weird like pseudo discount Lilith run earlier. Now we actually get the opportunity to play around with Lilith. I didn't mean it to sound like it sounded, but it did sound like that, so all right. Bad item. Book of Secrets is basically worthless for us, but on the bright side, there is one way, and if this was like, you know, the Binding of Isaac 400, if I was your professor, which would never happen, but if they give me tenure, fuck them. I'm sticking around for life. That's great job security. You even get a pension out of that job, probably. You listening, Edmund? Tyrone? Hello? Anyway, I already look like the dean from Community. If you want to make me the dean of, you know, the zaniness department of the Isaac School, let me know. I'll consider it. I'm housebroken. Anyway, um... I totally forgot what I was saying, but I think I was going to mention that there is one thing that is good about Book of Secrets. You probably know what it is if you've been coming to class. What is it? Well, picking up any book increases your chance of getting a library in the future. We may not want to ever replace, um, Box of Friends, but there are probably not only some books that are better... Oh man, that was bad. Not only some books that are better, but some situations in which a lot of books would be better than Box of Friends. Like if we're about to die, for example, we'd probably rather... Um, go check out a book of revelations or something like that, then worry about Box of Friends. That's my philosophy, at least. We're gonna check this. Early Small Rock. Nice, but also I'm a little bit concerned, uh, because of the fact that we didn't get any Spirit Hearts. But I'm not really complaining. It certainly could have been worse. Now, I'm gonna go for the second Secret Room later. And the regular Secret Room now. What's my methodology for that? I mean, it obviously didn't work out, but... I really want the chance to get uh, KB and Conception to pay out with something useful. Man, Double Incubus is just crushing it right now. Um, and in order for that to happen, it would be really awesome. PJ's is really good here too, but it would be really awesome if we could get a, uh, a Blood Bank. So what did I think about, you know, Blood Bank? What's the best way to increase our Blood Bank chances? Get five cents for the next floor. Second Secret Room, more likely to not have money. In fact, I don't think it can have money at all. Um... First secret room could have money, so I think it was worth a shot. I, I still stand by my by my reasoning, even if the results didn't bear that out. We're standing here just in case it's explosive diarrhea. All right, bad pills, but uh, we are going to check out our curse room because we have the HP to spare now. More pills. I don't even... Oh, that sucked. I don't even know what pills I'm looking for now. Are you a wizard? Definitely is not one. And the other one is Paralysis. I, I tried to pop it, like, right as we entered, thinking that maybe it wouldn't hurt us if we were paralyzed when we went through the door. You know, like, we don't have any... Our nerves aren't active. Or, I don't know. Look, I don't know the methodology of uh, Paralysis, okay? Great name for an album, though. That's like the new Tool album. The methodology of Paralysis. You know that in my heart of hearts, I believe that we can get to our... Uh, Come on, to our fourth and fifth cent here. Not our fourth and fifth centaur. That would be a strange world to be a part of in date. Half a red heart. Not worth it. All right, all right. I think we have to accept probably no blood bank on this floor, but we still, you know, it turned out relatively well. There's a chance maybe we could shoot fires on the shop, but is it really worth giving up a chance at our item room to make that happen? Probably not. We could also kind of push it to the limit right here. If we don't get a penny out of that one, we're probably screwed. But you know what? We might as well try. If that had worked out, I would have looked like a genius. And we'll shoot the poop even though it's so unlikely to contain uh, anything on the boss room. That's how, like, real I was about the opportunities that were presented to us there. I'm just looking at the audio, and it looks like it's coming across a little quiet here. Maybe it's fine. I don't know. If it's not fine, let me know. We'll try to get it sorted. I'll check it after this video. Um, in case we do a marathon Isaac session today. 
We do want to access that tinted rock, but it's not immediately urgent. By the way, I, I should point out, you know, we didn't take a lot of constructive damage on the last floor. We took a lot of destructive damage, but it still counts towards KME and Conception. You know, it's all the same in the gaping maw of, you know, destruction. They're still happy to take that and, you know, turn it into hopefully a dark bomber, a little brim or something along these lines. A little brimmer? Help. Okay, we're safe. When I said help, I just meant help somebody who needs it, because I sure as heck don't. It's... wow. Great shot. Uh, it's almost an ideal situation for me right now, for a deal with the devil. We've got a decent amount of spirit hearts. If you give me like a nine lives or something... It's similar. Guppy's Tail. We're not really rolling in keys, but I'll take Guppy's Tail regardless. Um, we're not in too bad of a spot. I would probably pay a key and five cents to grab a bomb. So we're gonna... Take a little bit of time here just to, you know, shoot some fires. Getting tinted rocks would be nice. Now that we already have a uh, small rock. Oh, that was actually horrible. Now that we uh, have small rock, we know that future uh, chests cannot pay out with it. And as a result, uh, they're more likely to pay out with one to two spirit hearts. Maybe golden chests as well. I don't know if Guppy's Tail will increase the chance of getting a golden chest. God damn it. Uh, from a stone, or uh, from a tinted rock? Tinted stone. Wouldn't that be weird if I just started calling them tinted stones? It's like just weird enough to be very deeply unsettling. Maybe I am going to call them tinted stones. You know what? You can't freaking stop me. Cross the plane. Touchdown. Greg Jamings. Bombs, please. Bombs, please. Why do you hate me? Just give me a bomb. Is all I ask for. There's so many tinted rocks. You won't give me a single bomb? Wish I'd known that that was there, too. That could have been full of value for us. Instead, we're heading down to the next floor. It's a little bit of a scary position. You know, we've had harder runs than this. And certainly, I've done this to myself to some extent. Like, I've taken some damage on this floor that's a little unreasonable. Um, but that it, it happens, you know? I'm not going to belabor the point that, oh, I'm so bad. Oh, let's just end this run and start another. No, 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 no. We're not going to go down that dangerous spiral. Instead, you and I, you being the collective audience and me being the collective me, um, we're going to persevere together through this. We're going to recognize that very shortly we're probably going to get a um, KMB and Conception payout and we're going to live our lives and we're not going to be afraid anymore. Thanks for the bombs except for the one that could have caused me to nearly die although I want the money I really want to see what's in this curse room first we got that's fine that's fine one more bomb and we get some good stuff we got guppy plays we got um you know we have a desire for spirit hearts one bomb would be so 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 helpful and we got a pill and the pill is telepills which surely will be useful at some point in the future in a way that I have not yet considered Obviously, boss rush, but I'm not really worried about boss rush. I'm worried about, you know, that's you're talking about my long term future. I'm talking about living through the fucking night here. We got one and a half spirit hearts. A good setup, offensively speaking, can't deny that. But certainly, we're, we're kind of living on the razor's edge here. You know, faster than a bullet, terrifying scream. Take it to the limit. He's half man and half machine. He. Is the painkiller? Okay, luck? No luck. All right, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Maybe I'm asking for too much. We got a lot of luck in recent runs. That Judas run was out of control. Very strong. A little bit dangerous on HP, but that's the way I like a run to be, honestly. And my restaurant, that would be a number one. Um, so maybe we're paying for that a little bit here. Two spirit hearts. Well worth the bomb invested. We basically engineered our own tinted rock through a very roundabout fashion. Now, what are we looking for? More bombs wouldn't be the end of the world, but uh, a key would be nice. And actually, an HP upgrade would also be fantastic here. We didn't get it, but we got a charge. And actually, like, my overall entertainment goal, my entertainment dream wall for this run is to get to Boss Rush and have the opportunity to use Box of uh, Friends. Unlike we... Well, that's a weird sentence to construct, but um, like we did not have the opportunity to do two episodes ago when we were playing as Lilith and rerolled our run right off the bat. I really think that's one of the principal strengths of uh, 
of Lilith that I maybe don't recognize all the time. Skinny on mushroom, I'll take it. I think it's it's much better for us to have, you know, plus 0 0.5 rate of fire, minus 0 0.3 damage. It obviously, it, those are made up numbers, but I believe that it's basically canonical at this point that Skinny Odd Mushroom lowers your damage, but it raises your rate of fire by more. Also contributes to the Mushroom Transformation. I, you know, have a big old hard on for talking about transformations in Isaac. The Mushroom Transformation is, is one of the lesser transformations in terms of, like, its usefulness and its impact on the run. Uh... But that's not to say it's it's bereft of usefulness. One HP in some situations can make the difference between life and death. Moreover, it could easily make the difference between taking a deal with the devil and not taking a deal with the devil. So, you know, they, those those kind of uh, little statistical changes can definitely add up over the course of a run. We need to pop this here. Even though we're going to fight the boss soon, um, we probably would have been hit if we didn't double up. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to live with my mistake there. And we're only fighting the Forsaken anyway. It's all about this first dodge. If you can make this, and you got not zero speed, you're probably fine. You gotta feel bad for the Forsaken, man. Like, this boss is a joke when he shows up later in the game. This should really be, like, the first floor boss instead of the haunt, if there was any fairness on planet Earth. Hanged man. Well, we've already been to the curse room. It's not like we're gonna be taking advantage of a blood bank, and boss rush is maybe a little bit more important as Lilith than as any other character. So let's see if we oh, dude, freaking should save telepills, man. One of the very rare. Well, I was gonna say one of the very rare situations in which telepills is uh, better than hanged man for us, but honestly, telepills used to be. If you're not a an experienced, I'm not even gonna say good. If you're not an experienced uh, Isaac player, telepills has a tendency to. You know, be overlooked because you're like, why would I want to teleport? That's stupid. But the more Isaac you play, the more you realize, you know, teleportation is a very valid thing in a lot of situations. I'm going to miss out on the battery here, but I'm definitely... Unless we get a key from the drop, which we did. I was going to say I'm, I'm going to use the Hanged Man, but now we don't necessarily need to. D12 rerolls rocks. I think there's like essentially zero benefit. I'm still going to use the Hanged Man. It's probably the right call. We're just missing out on the battery charge from Box of Friends, but... It probably was the right call to do this anyway. And, ooh, feeling a little bit better about our play. Made some clutch dodges. Past few floors. Keys are coming up. You know, we have Guppy's Tail, so I'd be expecting Golden Chess. And I welcome Golden Chess. You know, they give us a better chance of becoming uh, Guppy. Not to mention getting items that are actually useful. In particular, you know, Infamy, Fate, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, Gupp Guppy's Head makes the list as well. Although, we probably wouldn't want to get rid of uh, Box of Friends for Guppy's Head. Box of Friends just... It snowballs so hard on... Uh, that was really bad damage. But it snowballs so hard on, on Boss Rush that... I think it's worth making an exception for. The Sun. Good card. Not useful, uh, not as useful as it could be when we're out of HP. Which we are right now. Obviously, this is a delicate room. I think it's a delicate room that warrants the use of, uh... Come on, come on. That warrants the use of, uh... It warrants the use of the Sun card, honestly. I was, at first, I was going to say it warrants the use of Box of Friends, but I really think that it does warrant the use of the Sun card. Oh my god, are you... <sighs> now, there was... Don't get me wrong. I could have seen that coming. However, it will never not be a bummer when you get pushed by the force of a golden chest opening into the fucking spikes. Bob's Rotten Head. Well, there's some goodness in Bob's Rotten Head, I feel. Go secret room, or you can go, uh, go for that chest over there. I chose to go secret room. I'm gonna say that we're probably not going to go to the cursed room right away, because we're in, you know, the Devil's Playground. AKA the Gooch and the Grundle, the fleshy fun bridge. We gotta play smarter, and I actually, I'm loving this run right now. You might think that I'd be like, oh, where's my damage? Where's my DPS? But we actually have really good uh, fire rate and damage. And most of the damage that I've taken has been preventable. Don't even get me started on the fucking spikes again. But most of the damage that we've taken has been preventable. Which really does not bum me out. Rather, 
Oh, God. Probably should be dead. Rather, it makes me excited for the future of this run, which does not exist because we've been killed by bombs. Okay, easy enough. Uh, random time. I'm, I'm a little pissed, I'll be honest. You know, as pissed as I've ever been at a... Oh, good, we're going to be the keeper, too. As pissed as I've ever been at a uh, at a video game that could be now, ZQ3L7BSW. I have to be honest. Oh God! Fighting uh, fighting an enemy that uh, spits bombs at you that ricochet off each other, and oh by the way, the room's tiny. Uh, not my idea of uh, the ideal enemy for us to fight, but you know what? We died. It was a fun death. Really, the mistake was in not having more HP when we went in there. We treated our life as an improper resource, and we were punished accordingly. Now, all will be redeemed if we can just win as the Keeper. Which is going to require eventually killing an enemy. Uh, I'm not sure if we have it in us, honestly. But, uh... It seems like we may have stemmed the tide of despair. And we're back to full HP. If we can win as the Keeper, there will be no cause... For despair. We just need a swallowed penny. You know what? I'm actually going to, uh, when we come back into that room, I'm going to kick the bomb into some pots. In fact, that might be the best thing for us to do with bombs to begin with, is blow up pots to try to get swallowed penny on the first floor. I th it didn't work out. I still think it's the right call. Okay, we'll leave that penny on the ground. We probably will need it for later. The scissors don't provide us with enough value. Okay, this is good. We go from that, like, Eden, not Eden, Lilith start, which was ridiculous, into this uh, Keeper start, which is at least novel. We're looking for Small Rock if we get a bomb, but we also do want to blow up pots. I think we'll look for Small Rock first. We got a golden chest. That could give us an item. It's better than just getting uh, flies out of it, which is what would have happened if it contained spirit hearts. But it's really like, it's small rock or bust. Well, what's more valuable? Small rock or, or a pot? Well, I guess it depends what our odds are of getting the, uh, of getting something out of the pot. We really can't afford to take pills. That was a dumb decision on my part. Um, pills are a no, you know, like cookies are a sometimes food. Cookie monster. Nah, dog. Uh, these are a no times item because a health downgrade ruins our run. Got another bomb. I still think you use a bomb to try to get Swallowed Penny. The other alternative is go to the shop and try to get uh, try to get Swallowed Penny from the shop. Just hope that it shows up. That could be viable if it shows up. Of course, that's the right outcome, but that's the right way to proceed. But if it doesn't, then it doesn't. Uh, I'm gonna. Hey, we shouldn't take the penny. If we had, we leave the penny behind, it doesn't matter. We could try to go to the curse room. I think it's a low percentage chance that probably leads to despair. Um, let's do it. Let's do it. Duke of Flies. Absolutely no problem. I will say, a little bit of shitty dice rolls on the uh, wooden nickel so far. I think it only paid out once this floor. Maybe twice? Twice. Because we, when we got hit on the first room, uh, that was hell itself. We made it out uh, with full HP because of that. So, sweet. Easy boss fight. Uh, DPS, please. Sure. Jesus juice. I'll take it. We'll head down to the next floor. No, the more I think of it, the more I'm like, it is a blessing that we died on that uh, Lilith run. Because a Lilith run isn't impressive. Ooh, that one is a character who's pretty okay some of the time. No, dog. You know what's impressive? Fucking Keeper wins. And the Keeper wins... You just gotta follow a slightly different Isaac flowchart. Play sensible. Oh right, the first part of the flowchart is make sure you never fight against the champion version of the cage. Oh, but you know what? Give me the champion version of the cage this time. I'm out for blood, brother. I smell a rematch, and it smells a little bit like a rotten egg. Is there a gas leak in my apartment right now? You know what? It can wait. This is Northern Lion, though, saying if you smell a gas leak in your apartment, don't wait. Get out of there and call the gas company. No amount of YouTube entertainment is worth losing your life. Lucky Rock would also be a really good uh, trinket for us to get if we could swing it. But that one only shows up as a room reward and also from... Uh, from the shop, I think. I don't, maybe if you blow up a rock, it can give you Lucky Rock? I don't think so, though. 
But I don't blow up, you know, non-tinted rocks enough to really know, I think. So far, really good fight against Little Horn. Uh, keeper runs tend to be angel-focused as well, because you can't really take a deal with the devil the same way that you would take a deal with the devil as a normal character, unless you get HP back, which we did not. So we'll just go peep this quick. Uh, I really don't think it's worth it. You know, I don't like to roll the dice there and go down to 1 HP no matter what. And we shouldn't take pills, unless there's two of them. Because if there's two of them, we can get out of it. And we'll, we'll take one with us just in case it's PhD. Alright. Uh, uh, Telepill is also valuable. allows us to get out of a curse room. Conceivably. This might allow us, yeah, to get a key and a bomb, which is pretty solid. Still waiting on... You know what? Mom's box of trinkets. No, because then we'd have to carry it with us. Hmm. I know, it sounds like the ramblings of someone who has something very wrong with them. But no, I'm just like, it's disjointed thoughts as I try to think of like alternate win conditions as the keeper. Obviously Swallowed Penny, um, you know, Nun's Habit, Nine Volt, stuff like that. But if we could maybe get like Mom's box of trinkets until we get a worthwhile trinket. But then we lose out on Wooden Nickel. And if we have to leave the floor, then it ends up like very much not being worth it. So I think we check this. And... We get Mom's Purse, which allows us to hold two trinkets. I think that that may well be pretty solid here. So, um, let's let's blow up our donation machine. I don't mind. You know, on a keeper run, we're going to get our donation machine low, and it's not going to matter to me at all. I, I have no problems with that. Don't take this pill yet. So, we have keys. Plenty of keys. Our item room contains the D100. Let's think this through logically. We're going to be the Keeper without Triple Shot, without without the Wooden Nickel. Wait, it wouldn't be without the Wooden Nickel if we walked out of the room, right? I think every bone in my body is telling me we have to do this. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to come down here. We're going to grab the shop key. I want to keep that. We're going to pick this motherfucker up. We're going to re-roll ourselves out here. We have an extra life. We have... B bomber boy and then we're gonna go pick this up and we're gonna bomb the shit out of it uh, triple shot number one strange attractor are we in hell is this what hell is I don't know man I can't not be the guy who does this though if I could, you know I would just take your hand and you'd understand I'm the man who's zany. But I, th I think it's worse, but I'm not sure by how much. Because Strange Attractor is just is horrible um, for us in any situation, but especially as the Keeper, I'd say, is particularly bad. Um... Run. Oh, we still got hit! Oh, there we go. Okay, we're saved. Thank you, Pill, that I shouldn't have taken in the first place. Um, oh, God, get out of here. The more we shoot, we push it away, but it also gets closer. So I think, like, we need almost, like, a brimstone payout here to, to give us enough damage that Strange Attractor doesn't kill us. I love this, though. We took a keeper run, and we said, you know what? Fuck your flowchart that I have such a hard on for. And we said, we're going to make this an NL run. Do we need to play much better to make this Keeper run work? Yeah, yeah, we need to play real well. And get a little lucky. And you know what? Being lucky is the thing that I'm best at. That's my number one skill in life. Tiger Woods said you make your own luck, and that's a man who knows a thing or two about getting lucky. As well as the Daft Punks who stayed up all night to get lucky. Secret Room, Cursed Room, Guppy Transformation. Ooh, never mind. Help. Um, this is a room where I would very much like to just shoot the poop. We're adjusting their trajectories too much. Stay on target. There we go. Let's be cool. We're adjusting their trajectories too much. Oh, don't fear the reaper or the wind or the sun or the rain. We could be like they are. The dodges did not save me. Did I pick up a penny? I think I picked up a penny. This could do it, but I'm not going to let it. 
How does it take four shots to kill you? Like, can we just talk about that? That's way too many shots to kill a single enemy. We the best. Oh, no payout? Are you playing with my balls? And pretending it's some kind of ball dangling mechanism the likes of which I've never heard. Thank you, Bomber Boy. Deft use of Bomber Boy has saved us instead of damned us for the first time ever. Man, I should not have cashed out at number one. I was like, ooh, good rate of fire. That's awesome for, uh, you know, triple shot. And it is, except for the compromised range. That's damage we can't afford to take if we want a chance of winning this. And I, I don't want the credit for the reroll. You know, any any idiot can reroll. Case in point, me right now. Um, we don't want to reroll. We want to reroll, have everybody lose faith in us, and then win when we've got no business doing so. Are you... <laughs> the fucking explosion radius on these bomb flies has never irritated me more than it does in this present moment. Get away from me, but also get close enough to get hit by my infinitesimal range, but don't get any closer than that. Are you like one hit away? Now you gotta be one hit away. Dude, you cannot escape from me. I've got the siren song of the tractor beam of urination here. <sighs> okay. Well, luckily these guys only got to create their own private fucking... I, I, I was going to say uh, my own private Idaho. And then I turned it into their own private army. And it became their own private Idaho army. Which sounds like a Midwestern grocery store. That sells assault rifles. Stay away. You know, the Sticks song, Come Sail Away? We're going to sing that, except it's going to be called Just Stay Away, Just Stay Away, and Just Stay Away From Me. Well, this is obviously not very good, but we got triple shot and I almost killed myself. Um, Sure, Liberty Cap. Liberty Cap, yeah, man. So good. That was the best moment of my life. We're still not at full HP. Ooh, now we're at full HP. Hopefully something good from the shop. No shopkeeper. I mean, we could technically go back and get some. Ooh, we can't afford to go blue candle. Um, we really can't afford to go blue candle. So we go more, op or there's options, and we just go. Blue candle would be dope if we could swing it, but we, we can't afford to get rid of uh, wooden nickel. It's just, it's so valuable. I think this is where we use our last bomb. Sang to me their song of hope. And this is what they said. They said, scum, stay away. Scum, stay away. Scum, stay away from me. It's, how's it going to work? I ran down the keeper. Got in above my head. Saw the ghost of Rockley smile. This is what he said. He said, Scum, stay away. Scum, stay away. Scum, stay away from me. Scum, stay away. Scum, scum stay away. Oh, 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 oh. oh, Lazarus Rags! We're alive! But no, oh my god, we're no longer the keeper, but we're alive. Holy, holy cow, is what I meant to say there. Oh, oh, <laughs> well, we'll take synth oil. Oh, this is, this is one for the ages, boys. Uh, and by for the ages, I mean, this is fucking silly. I don't think I'm playing that bad. Like, I'll, I'll take the L, quote unquote, on the, um, on the, uh, Lilith run? We should have won that one. But on this one, I'm just happy to be alive. <sighs> Never been less scared of anything in my life. Curse of the Blind. I think that's what I need right now. He's like, I was thinking, like, wouldn't it be sweet if we just got a Curse of the Blind? We still have the guppy items. I, like, I don't even know where this run is right now. I'm just a vessel for this run to funnel through. And if it chooses to let me live... I would be thrilled. At the very least, we got Scum Stay Away from this song, which, or from this episode, which I really appreciate. It's been a while since we've had a great uh, parody. 
<laughs> Say it again. The ghost of rock, least smile up in. No, wait, I, I ran down to the keeper, got in above my head. The ghost of Rockley smile appeared, and this is what he said. He said, scum, stay away, scum, stay away, scum, stay away from me. Diglets, scum, stay away. Oh, this is, is enduring. It's an enduring legacy. I love it. Okay, that's bad damage. I want to take a moment to talk to myself here, so if you guys could just plug your ears. Self, there's been some good moments, there's been some bad moments as you've been playing here. I think we'd all agree that, and by we I mean me, because it's just me listening. This is a moment for you to pull a win out of this run, and I would really like you to persevere and, and garner that win. It would really be like, it would be like a helium balloon letting all the helium out, and you're going, if you lost this. There's a lot of enthusiasm regarding this run, I'm sure right now. It's zany, it's ridiculous, it's everything you stand for, but in order to meet it halfway, you need to not die. And I know that that's a super bummer with Strange Attractor, but really, unfortunately, you have to do it. So let's do it. And if you have to sing Scum Stay Away 20 times to make it happen, then we're going to sing Scum Stay Away 20 times. This is the linchpin floor. I can tell you right now, we're getting Magic Mush from the boss, deal with the devil for 9 lives. Everything else is inconsequential. All we need to do is make it there, and then make it so. Lovely. That was that was sweet. God, bomb flies. Oh, majestic. If that was a Jim Carrey film, it would definitely be 2001's mid-career weirdness, The Majestic. About a man who buys a movie theater. Scatter bombs. That's real scary. But we do have Bomber Boy. Bomber Boy Scatter Bombs sounds like a recipe to blow ourselves up on this boss fight. And that's not a recipe I'd like. I'd much prefer, like, a recipe for some, you know, chilaquiles or something like that. But, gotta do what you gotta do. We have not found our shop yet. No, we did... That was... Yeah, we, fought, we found our shop. We fought greed. The stain. This guy's no joke. That was not a... Angry silkworm at first. That was just a normal silkworm. And then you betrayed me. Okay, we made it. Right is magic mush. <sighs> Speedball. But at least it's it's getting us closer to spun. It's getting us closer to spun. Just do this in a way that doesn't cause us to die. Oh, I didn't really want there to be anything of value there anyway. Okay, we'll just head down to the next floor with zero HP, I suppose. Scum, stay away. Scum, stay away. We can do this. We can do this. What is this, like, hour eight of this run? Dank Depths one? No boss rush, but... <laughs> come on, dude. Okay, all spikes are gone. Place this, get some black hearts. Place this, get some black hearts. Ooh, I got close to the bombs, but did not die. Take a toke, but don't choke. If you do, you got no clue of what me and my homie Snoop Dogg came to do. Now, Blue Candle is used to destroy. We're using its power to destroy. All the money in the world I want is half of a freaking red heart. No, we're not. Yes! Let's see if we need to waste the key here. Every time... I... This run is bailed out from its horrible situation. The ghost of Rockley Smile appears in my head and says, It's not your time to go. And I say thank you for quoting Albert Finney from... 2002's, 2003, sorry, my mistake, amazing movie, Big Fish. Um, it's the last time I watched a Tim Burton film and said that was a worthy investment. My time. I really, I haven't seen Frank and Weenie, so, I mean, I'm not saying that he hasn't made anything of value, just that I have not seen anything of value in that, uh, in that time period. Thank you for reminding me that it exists. It's also Billy Crudup's best role, in my opinion. What do we got here? Guppy's head. Scum stay away, scum stay his head as well. Oh, it's real dicey. This is like three really good uh, space bar items. Blue Candle's the best one for us still. How many different characters can you play as in one video here? You might, and I think there's a great case to be made 
for taking Guppy's head. And my thinking behind that is, uh, wow, bad dodge. That Guppy's head, wow, I didn't touch the creep, or it was my own creep. Uh, Guppy's head gives you, you, you get the best of all worlds. You get damage, but you also don't have to deal with um, Strange Attractor. I know I gotta shoot, but you gotta think that every time I shoot, it uh, it affects the trajectory of these enemies. Which then collide with one another, which is why I'm trying to get, like, mad blue candle action. God damn it. Just give me a fucking red heart. I know I've had red hearts, okay? I know I've had red hearts. You don't need to tell me that I've had red hearts. Need to remind- Oh, the two spirit arts from a tinted rock! The ghost of Rockley Smile has appeared before me one last time, and you know what he said? I'll tell you what he said. He said, Play the best run in the world, or I'll eat your soul. Oh, God. Well, me and Tomo, we looked at each other. Oh, and we each said, Okay. And so we played the best run that came to our head. And just so happened to be a three-pronged Isaac run. It was a three-phase Isaac run. Look into my eyes and you, it's easy to see. When you don't play and you don't get a streak, it is news to me. Once every 75 runs or so, and the moon not shining, the grass not growing. Yeah, you get the idea. I mean, at this point... This run has gone full-on ridiculous territory, and I'm not afraid to take it there with my... the dulcet tones of my singing voice. Okay, we got you. We got you. We got you. Uh, left item. Magic 8-ball. Well, you're gonna have the world's strongest shot speed, no doubt about that. Ooh, it's an HP upgrade! Just when I thought the ghost of Rockley's smile had abandoned me, I saw a single set of footprints, and I said, Neck. Play the... Okay, I'm just joking. But I said, why? What, what happened there? There's only one set of footsteps. And he said, yeah, maybe you should walk sometimes. Like, there's six million people on planet Earth, many of whom are playing the Binding of, Binding of Isaac. Like, you think you're the only person who needs help now and then? Thank you, Nick. I appreciate your support through the trials and tribulations of this run and the many ups and downs we've had. If I need you again, I'll call on you. I'll give you the, the neck signal. PhD. Better pills. Balls of steel. That that one's just question marks. Don't believe his lies. Oh, hello. Do, do, do. I can't believe that in the end we're going to have a run that has a chance to be successful here. I've never been more scared, thrilled, teased, aroused. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I, it's bad form, but I got a text. And my uh, my family's away right now, so I want to make sure the text didn't say like, "Hey, pick up your phone. There's a tornado" or something like that. The, the text was inscrutable. But you know what? I'm just going to assume that it was the text from the ghost of Rockley Smile, keeping me honest here. Oh, he's so fast! They're too fast for words. You know what we need is, uh, we need Parasite or Cricket's Body. Anything that gives us the ability to get, um, you know, more bullets out of our existing bullets, because this is, I don't, quite frankly, I don't think we have the offensive potency necessary to carry us without doubt through the rest of the game. I think we could use a little bit more. I mean, Synth Oil's dope, we're one away from Spun. Wow, that was close. Uh, but we're not quite... We should take strength. We're not quite at, like, you know, nothing can touch us territory at all. The real ticket is that we should be popping this down and then shooting at it to draw enemies into the fire. Is that the ticket that I've been missing this whole time? By the way, Guppy Dreams. Not Guppy Dreams, but well worth our investment. Well, enemies that are unaffected by 
Strange Attractor are also wonderful. I really don't know what has happened to this run. I'm happy that we've certainly gotten a lot of variety. 39 minutes in, about to fight Mom. The dream is real. Ooh, Madrina's real. Okay, we're safe. An orbital wouldn't be the worst thing in the world? I don't know. We've had Curse of the Blind on every fucking floor. It's like we have an item that just exclusively gives us Curse of the Blind. Tell you what, that's not the first mod I make an Afterbirth. I would never make that mod because that mod sounds like it would be annoying. Oh yeah, reroll the whole run. It's a double key room. We got eight keys. Why wouldn't we reroll our whole run? Let's not be ridiculous. Oh, we're the Zane Master. There we go. Okay, we, oh, don't know. He's salty. Don't make him reroll. I'm not salty. I'm saying I welcome your challenge because people have got to know whether or not their president is a crook. And I am not a crook. If we could get a, a bomb explosion right here. Bomb for a key. Great trade. Especially because it also allows us to get to that, which is giving us two bombs. Worth the investment, I'd say. Tarot card matters not to me. Uh, this is fine. That's fine. There you go. You got blue candle in there. These enemies are not tanky. White feather. Is this an item I can see with my eyes? I didn't realize that they still made those in today's modern world. I thought that we only made items that were red question marks, and then when you pick them up, they're shot speed upgrades. But apparently, they got all sorts of item upgrades these days. And by item upgrades, I mean items that are, you know, strictly worse than the item we're presently holding. Okay, we do need to go to the shop. Now would be a really good time to pick up Chaos and just totally fuck with the situation. Didn't we have, like, there's options on this run? Where did that go? Why is there only one item on our... Oh, because we get it from bosses, right. I'm getting their options, uh, there's options and more, more options confused. I was going to say there's options and more's options. You know what? We could use some good karma. Alrighty, I guess we'll take Broken Stopwatch. Let's just mess with it. That's what I get for even trying to meet the game halfway. No reason not to take that. And, uh, you know what? Yeah, we, we've been low on HP. Let's not look a, a gift horse in the mouth here. Needless to, sp to say... Let's try that again. Needless to say, Tyrone was stunned. Who whip crack with the RNG? And Tyrone was done. He asked us. Be you streamers? And we said nay. We are but men. Rock. Just keep him at bay. You know, if we get hit, we get that anemia effect. I hate that that's actually, like, relevant to our run right now, but... You know, it is what it is. Oh, good! You want to fight Mega Satan on this run? The mind is actually awesome. You know the Pixie song, Where Is My Mind? Turns out we freaking found it. Um, I'm, I'm thrilled. Let's fight Mega Satan. Run can't get any stupider. Key piece one. The devil. I have become the devil. This run has turned me into the devil, and I'm ready. I was just going to say, no curse, please. But um, we have a curse. Oh, this run has spawned like its own greatest hits collection. Joker. I look like fucking Mugatu here. This is ridiculous. Do I even have Mom's Brought? No, it's the Mind. Not Mom's Brought, the Joker. Two of Spades, still good. Tomo, what's up, buddy? You're my rage cage in this situation. You know that, right? You're my trip sitter on this Isaac run. Where are you going? A stretch implies movement, Tomo. A stretch him. Okay, he's still in. It's fun to play with the T O M O. It's fun to play with the T O M O O. He's got everything that a kitty should have. He can give himself all the baths. It's fun to play with the. You, know, you get the idea. That one maybe is like. That's not worthy of being on the album. But you gotta you gotta have some losers, you know. You know how many bad songs Radiohead has made? Probably like thousands. They just end up on the cutting room floor. Or on uh, their first album. Yeah, just go stand right next to that. Good idea. We did get small rock though, which is extremely good for us right now. 
Anything that gives us more damage minimizes the amount of dodges or dodging as a concept that we have to do with uh, strange attractors. So I will always be happy to pick up a damage upgrade at this point in our lives. We're not going to fight Hush. That's one reason why I'm not picking up money. The other reason I'm not picking up money is because I don't feel like I should. Because it's like, if I play the game's game, then it thinks that its games are acceptable. And I'm just going to go ahead and say that a lot of the game's games were not acceptable here. I think that the game was overly unkind to me in some situations. It, did, it didn't give me the win, by the way. If we win this run, it's a Ghost of Rockley Smile. And also Tomo Buddy. Okay, don't step on the creep. I actually thought that was my creep, but they got two different colors, so... That one actually is on me. Speed up, PhD. Thank you. Oh, after doing the Matrix dodge, we still got hit. All right, this is a classic, you know, mid-game Northern Lion uh, fumble here. We're going to choose to steer away from it and steer back into a classic Northern Lion trademark late-game Hail Mary victory. No doubt. Here's a secret room to help with us doing that hopefully they were all dead yeah just in time well you know as Ashanti said she's not always there when you call which seems realistic she's always on time that seems unrealistic but it's a noble goal nonetheless you gotta go first oh I missed yep starting to hemorrhage HP a little bit here that's alright another deal with the angel can save us dude Dude, okay, you know what? Fuck Strange Attractor. I said it! <laughs> Pardon my French, but I don't think this item is very fudging good. I am going to maybe exclusively use Blue Candle. Unless we find ourselves in a situation where if we don't shoot, an enemy will definitely hit us. I think that might be the, the way that you keep this run going. Is you just say, you know what? It's all about Blue Candle. What you want to do? Want to be... Code crackers. Wait, want to be hackers. Code crackers, slackers. Wasting time with all the chat room yackers. Uh, oh, God. Be cool. I, I did shoot a little bit there. This is the world's longest floor, but we finally made it. To the easiest room that we're going to face in our entire womb career. Double Loki. Double Loki! Pushing down. <laughs> you get the idea. It's double Loki. Probably pajamas here for the massive spirit heart increase. And then you know what? I mean, we really should take the mark and the goat head. So I'm gonna. But I still want Mega Satan out of this. I'm gonna take him to the bank, Senator Trent. To the blood bank. Here we go. Now we can actually see where we're going. It's like a whole dream came true simultaneously here for me. Red chest. I love it. Bombs. Thanks a lot. How'd you know? For the man who has everything. You're going to think that was luck. It was actually the greatest play that's ever been made in my Isaac career. Bouncing blue candle off of the opposing wall. Ooh, give me some good stuff. That's not that good. It's like everything's got something negative associated with it on this run. Our tiers are pretty good, but they, we have strange attractors, so enemies bump into us. Yeah, but you got blue candle. Yeah, but like, you know, it's not very good on rooms where enemies are far apart, and it takes a little while to recharge. Yeah, but you got these amazing bombs. Yeah, but they also ricochet and uh, blow up in my face all the time. It's like, they are all good. That was bad damage, by the way, like without a doubt. But um, they are all good, but they all come with different negatives that have to be contained. That's gonna, that's gonna get it either way, so... Uh, how do we get ourselves out of this mess? Uh, that's a bad start. I'll tell you what. One thing we do is we just get this golden chest out of here. Bob's rotten head. Why wouldn't we at this point? Absurdity has always been our best friend. Let me get a judgment, which we're not going to blow up. Unless we do so by accident. We're going to play it and hope to get some HP that we can use on this deal with the devil. Come on, dog. I know you got me. I know you got me. You've been watching this whole run. There is no way you do not have me. I know he's got me. Don't question. I know you're looking at it right now. He doesn't have you. He has me. He just doesn't know he has me yet. 
You never had me. You never even had your car. Hello. This is my place called Vertigo. It's everything I wish I didn't know. Okay, if you could stand still. Oh, that's a lovely direction for you to charge. Thank you very much. All right, tinted rocks, tinted rocks. I see none. I continue to see none. I don't think this is one, but I'm going to try anyway. <gasps> what? It's not a black market, but it's dead onion. Piercing shots. Piercing shots that will travel through enemies with our amazing shot speed and then pull the enemies backwards as a result of Strange Attractor. Strange Attractor! Pulling back on me, pulling back on you. Oh man, that's harm. He didn't have me, but that's okay. He never even had his car, as we've established. Strange Attractor! <laughs> That pulls it lives away Well, he is fixed in place But he's a anyway It's the terror of knowing The ghost of Rockley smile Oh, what makes a good ghost ring? Miracle my... This is, this is okay. These, these are jokes for the drawing board. Well, we just crushed it lives. That was beautiful. What kind of person would I be at this point if I didn't say, yeah, give me the item that could bring me back from the brink of death. That'll be funny. I would be an idiot, is what I would be. I would be the world's dumbest person. They'd probably make a TV show about me. They'd call it, don't watch this, this dude's dumb. And then it would be the highest rated show in the USA Network's history. We're going to do this. We're going to win this run. I'm going to go take a breather and enjoy a, you know, a sensible can of sparkling water or something like that. And then we're going to go live our lives. We're going to come back. And we're, we're not going to pretend that this run never happened. Because that's not learning the lesson of this run. We're going we're gonna to venerate this episode. Another great word, venerate. We're going to venerate this episode as an all-time classic. We're going to come out with the album on Tuesday. At iTunes.com slash Josh. And you're all going to buy it. And then I'm never going to make another Isaac episode. Deal? Sounds good to me. I actually tried to use Bob's brain to blow him up. That would have been dumb. Not as dumb as using Are You a Wizard? But you know, the universe has given us a sign. Every time we've gambled on absurdity... I'm not saying we won, but have we lost? No, we're still in this. Stop me. Stop me. You fucking wouldn't know how to stop me if I was standing right under your foot. Stop me, you little bitch. You won't. <laughs> Sucker. All right. Uh, I wasn't even supposed to be in this room. Sorry, I'm going to need you to re-stomp me if possible. Hey, guys. I don't know what happened there, but that's okay. Um, if you could stop me like down here. You wouldn't... You can't stomp me. You can't even stomp your car. Staggered stompers. Stomping down on me. Playing psychological games with stomps. Come on, dude. I mean, I could have just killed you by now, but now it's about the principle of the thing. Staggered stompers. Then siphon your spirit hearts. They make you wanna fart. And name your children... Shards. You shouldn't name your children Shard. That's just doesn't even make any sense. But uh staggered stompers. Now, yeah, okay, yeah, you guys just get in line. We got like who needs a tractor beam that keeps all your tears in line when we could just have all enemies get in a line that our tears automatically hit. It's actually like against all odds, this run has become good. Now we just need like shielded tears. Whoa, okay. Maybe we got a little ahead of ourselves on the run has become good thing. Dude, stop moving. Stop that. Stop moving! Okay. If we beat Isaac, we've done a good thing. That is not who I'm gunning for. Shielded tears would be so good here. 
We have, like, just enough range to actually make this happen. Wow, I didn't get hit somehow. Um, probably should be using bombs, but honestly, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And things are going pretty well at the start of this. We might want to use bombs during the next phase. Because I really don't want to shoot, um... Because it's going to cause his shots to become very difficult to dodge. Try something like that. That seemed to work out pretty well. And now we got to use our noggins a little bit. But it's getting the job done. Now we can probably afford to shoot, save some bombs for the next floor. Beautiful. Really, textbook play. Give me dad's key, you fuck. You won't. You don't have the sack. Curse of Darkness? You're gonna have to try harder than that. Holy shit, we got the items we asked for. Cricket's body. Sticky bombs. Leech. And of course, uh, my best friend. The number one item in Isaac history. Well, Leech is just damage. But uh, Cricket's body, I think, is gonna be very, very valuable. Plus, it works in the tune of Under Pressure. Cricket's body! Splitting all my shots. Splitting enemy skulls. Oh man, that's sweet. Okay, we are not far enough away from Gertie's hitbox to not get hit by Bob's brain. Good to know for the future. Unfortunately, uh, that train has sailed. Really would be for the best. Oh, Bob's brain has popped. Fantastic. Um, probably should get some spider action going on up here. And by spider, I mean, you know, the scatter bombs, which will also make spiders for us on occasion. Okay, we're in a dangerous zone. We're in a dangerous place. Guppy's Collar, this is why we brought you onto this show. I can't see you anymore and it frightens me. We gotta keep him on screen so we can see what he's doing. Get him, get him, get him. Nothing? Oh! After all that... We've been surmounted. On our third death, they finally got us. Or did they? I could hit space right now and restart, but I'm not gonna. That was a weird run. In spite of our death, I had a great time. I hope you did as well. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. Next run's probably gonna be a little less silly. I'll see you next time.